everybody. Today I'm gonna play some more workshop levels. All right, uh, last, last time I played uh, Drop It, but I kind of skipped out of order a little bit. Uh, and then, so, and then I also did uh, Drop It Lift, so today I'm gonna play uh, Bendy Road, and uh, these two are both beginners, so hopefully I get both, all three of these. Um, let's see, uh, can you weave a road between the three balloons? All right, so let's see what I can do. Part of me wants to like try to go over the top, but it looks like it's uh, has it going pretty high. So, all right, so we have a road between the balloons, unlimited road. So I kind of wonder right now if um, that probably won't be enough to get up on top of the balloon. I probably need at least two roads. Um, this particular part is probably too steep for the uh, little bike, the Vespa. All right, so let's do this. Put another road. All right, and okay, let's do that. Now if it might bump a little bit on there, yeah. So. What I'm going to do to prevent that is I'm going to allow this to fall down a little bit. And then that will hopefully make a smoother transition. Alright, so it does seem smoother, but it's not good enough. Um, I might have to support this from above if I can't make this longer. All right, well, I don't know if this particular thing is needed right here. I couldn't move it very much, but it got over, and that's all I need to worry about. Um, so here, I guess, um, I guess I could probably make this some kind of symmetrical thing. Um, do copy, flip, as long as the road will fit between those two points, which it will. All right, so let's, although I, I need more on the right side than I do the left, probably, so. So I'm just going to not necessarily build symmetrically. Um, that much room for this to move. A little bit can go a little bit. Whoa. There's a lot of room for it to break though apparently. Got stuck a little bit and I had to fix it. Alright, 
so... Why is this thing breaking so bad? Is it breaking over here, interestingly enough? I guess the uh, Vespa guy, his head doesn't take up any space, but the scooter part does. There we go. Oh, so close. <laughs> inconsistent enough to where sometimes he gets under this and sometimes he doesn't. Or it came that way. Alright, maybe I'll actually need to adjust it a little bit. There we go. <laughs> there we go, nice little flip there at the end. Dress off and um, let him run. Alright. Oh, I want to submit to the gallery. Okay, see how. See how other people did on this level. Um, jump. Subscribe. already. a really close budget <laughs> for like going back and tweaking mine to make it a little cheaper. <laughs> uh, 
that's very close to the budget. All right, and then this here essentially has uh, weighted pieces here. And it looks like there's a cable in this and both sides on this one as well. So, so everyone is kind of is really far under budget. So. Alright, uh, okay, let's do dump, 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 jump, beginner. Uh, mainly built this level because I wanted to use the title <laughs> and because I wanted to have more easy levels in my workshop. If you aren't a fan of easy levels, you can try to solve it under 12k. Alright. Dump, dump, jump. So my, basically, like most jump levels, the trick to solving it cheaply, or solving it at all sometimes, is just to make sure your road doesn't break. So, so I'm going to do something like this, and I'm going to put a little thing here on the top. I might need some reinforcement. It's probably not even the right angle. And of course I need to actually make it so it doesn't bend. Alright, so I'm under 12k. And it breaks miserably. Alright, so... Alright. Alright, let's take that. get over my budget doing it this way here so um, wonder if I can okay so that one breaks down here now just, just change my angle a little bit see if that affects it all right it actually broke both of those it's really interesting that will be worse. Alright, so let's take keep things keep getting stuck.
Okay, it's a very difficult budget to hit on this one. Since I'm having trouble even getting it to not break. And now I'm over budget. Should I, I should have expected like the levels mark to begin or to be difficult. Alright. So like that one might work kind of. Other than it's breaking part. Just under 12. Basically did 
So one thing I think would make this level a little more interesting is to have other anchor points to give you other options, essentially, on how to brace your bridge. Um, because otherwise I feel like everyone's just going to build the support on the bottom. If you have uh, some anchor point up here, or like a little platform, and then like an anchor point on that, then you can decide is this better or is this better, or some combination in the middle. For a beginner level, I think that'd work real well. Alright, well, um, looks like I've already been recording for about 20 minutes, so I'll wrap this video up, and I'll uh, get to the next one. Uh, hopefully I'll get it out tomorrow. So, um, hope you enjoy this, and I hope you stay tuned for the next one.